If you look out of the window there, and I'll just ask you to turn around for a second, you'll, you'll see some interesting observations. I, I very much suspect you will not see anyone cycling on that roadway, uh, he says, as someone will go past on a bike. So for a start, there's no one cycling. Question why? I think some of the reason for that is because we haven't got any Boris bikes here. There isn't a tradition of cycling, so we need to do something about that. We're just about to introduce a Brompton uh, bike hire scheme at some of the DLR stations, so that's kind of going to help. Also, look at that cable car. Isn't it fantastic? It goes from the O2 and lands here. That is the first cable car I've seen since I've been sitting here for five minutes with anyone in it. <laughs> there is no one in it in the morning because it's a tourist thing. So why don't we try and persuade our friends at TfL that if you've got an Oyster card, you can actually use that as a way of getting over the River Thames. Because we're running that at this time of the morning, and there we are, it's another one just coming over, completely empty. So that's ridiculous, isn't it? A massive infrastructure like that, and, and we're not making the most of that. And the other thing, the third thing, I guess, looking out there, is we've, we've got um, acres and acres, or square metres, whatever you want to describe it, of, um, of water. We've got the docks here, we've got the River Thames. And looking out at that view, it's about four kilometres from here to the River Thames, and there is nothing going on on that water this morning at all. And that's not unusual. Uh, you know, that, that river is, is a major barrier, but we're not using it for water taxis. We're not using it as a means of transport. So, uh, you know, we've got the scope here to do things. We need to do an, an awful lot more. And you're right, we've got an airport down there. It's the only airport in London, um, and it's going to expand. Um, but, you know, it's, it's in terms of Heathrow and Gatwick, it's a relatively niche market. It's mainly business. There's a bit of, bit of um, uh, sort of holiday traffic as well. But I think the key here is, you know, this, this is London moving east, and we've been talking about it for years. We all know, you know, Hesseltine started up the, the Thames Gateway, and Prescott kept it going, and it's, it's kind of still there. But in this part of, of London, uh, it really is happening. So all the stuff you're seeing out of the window there has all happened since the docks closed here in 1985. The challenge is how can you create all these homes and all these jobs and do it in a sustainable way uh, and so that London doesn't clog up.